made. It's a switch on the back side. It has to be turned on. To, uh, we don't have much tooling right now, so if you need something, we often borrow it from machine tool over here. We just got a facing tool in here. We got these collets that come in uh, 16th increments. So if you have something round to face off, find the right size. This is a quick collet changer tool back here. There's one in here right now. So you would mold the part in here and then simply pull back this lever to lock it in place. This is a little tricky with the mechanism back here. Um, if you have problems with it, come and see me. It's a certain way to tighten it up more or loosen it up more and also take it back out. So to take it back out, you would simply push this back. And then there's a wheel back here that you would turn. And as you turn this and then push it out of this car, it keeps coming out. And turn this counterclockwise, eventually this comes out. So what you're doing back here is you're threading this out of this thread. To turn it on, to actually do work with, this guard has to be down. There's a little micro switch back here. To turn it on, make sure the e stop button is pulled out. And then we got one main lever here. If you pull this lever out and up, start spinning, there's a brake here. So you can stop it here, that stops it and turns it off. To go reverse, pull it out and bring it down. So down is reverse. To stop it normally, just simply move the lever back up or use the brake to stop it. Uh, as far as speed, you got the a dial here and you can adjust the speed based on some of these settings within the range that's given here. So we have to go faster than this, we have to change this gear while it's stopped to get it to a higher range. Obviously being a lathe you can also do threading operations and things like that but yeah, we don't want to get to that, that's too much machine tool. We're just looking into facing something off, uh, making something square, perpendicular to an axis, things like that. Um, we don't have a three jaw chuck, so if you go bigger than an inch, we'll have to use one of the lathe here from the machine tool area to clamp it and work with that. We also have an Accurite digital readout. It's its own little power switch here. Um, and it uh, only does the Z and the X axis. If it turns on. So come and see me here to work with this. We get limited tuning right now, so I don't see a whole lot of use for it. That's what we use it a few times. Some people had a round seal that I needed to put a nice face on it to have it sitting flat on a table to do a magazine with. <laughs>